Many of us can wake up to a to-do list that is way too long to get everything done in the day. You could use loads of your time doing tasks that aren't actually worth your time. Putting a priority rating on those tasks, looking at the effort and the impact that it requires to complete the task, helps me do less and get more done. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. So how do I go about doing that? I actually use an app called Notion and I create a database that automatically rates all of the tasks that I need to do. So what I would do is create a database in Notion, list all of the tasks that I need to do, create an impact column with low, medium and high, then create an effort column with low, medium and high. Then I'm going to use a formula property to actually give a rating to the impact. So I'm going to say if property impact equals low, then give it a value of one because I don't want low impact tasks. If it's not low, then check if property impact equals medium. And then give that a value of two because medium is better than low. And if it's not low or medium, then check if property impact equals high. If it is high, put three because high impact is better than medium and low impact. And if it's not low, medium or high, so it's an empty box, put zero. Then we're going to use three backets to close off all the formula. Now you can see low impact is one, medium impact is two, high impact is three, and everything else is zero. Now just out of personal preference, I'm going to change the colors so I can see that high impact is good, so we want that to be green. I'm going to change the medium color to yellow. And then I'm gonna change the low color to red. For the effort, it would be the other way around because I don't want to put loads of effort in a task, so ideally it would be a low effort task. And then ideally, I wouldn't want to do a high effort task. Now I need to create an effort value, so I'm going to duplicate the column that we've just made, rename it, and then edit the formula. So now I want the formula to look at effort instead of impact. So I'm going to change the three impacts and change that to effort. But then I also want to change the value because I want the effort to be low, so the value is going to be three. And I don't want the effort to be high, so I'm going to change that value down to 1. So now we have low effort as 3, high effort as 1, and when we input any of those values, it automatically calculates that for us. Now I want to create a total task value, so I'm going to add those two values together. Property impact value plus property effort value. We now essentially have a ranking for each individual task. You could leave that rating or ranking as a number if you want. I personally like jazzing up my workspace a little bit, so I'm going to use emojis. So I'm going to create another formula column. If property sum equals two, then put the emoji. If property sum equals three, then put the emoji. If property sum equals 4, put emoji, and you keep going until you have all the values in there. The reason I haven't put a 1 is because it's not possible, because we have a minimum of 1 add 1, which is 2, which makes 2 the lowest rating. If you can't find the emoji, you can just type the emoji in, and it will search it up for you, so we've got the star in there. Now what I'm going to do is put comma and then if it's none of those things, so if it's empty, put an empty box. So now we have a rating emoji. And whenever we change the effort and impact, the emoji rating will change as well. You don't need to be able to see all of those working columns, so you can just hide those in the property menu. Now what we actually want to do is sort the task for the ratings and this is where that sum column is kind of necessary because we need that numbers rating so we can have a descending rating. So we now have the most important task at the top and the least important at the bottom so you can work your way down. If you like using the Eisenhower matrix of urgent and important, I've got a video coming out soon on that. 
But till then, check out some of these videos over here. I'll see you there.